B2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. I have seen how to create the target. Now we'll see, today we'll see how to create a mapping. So I'll go to the mapping designer, go to mappings and then do a create. I'll give some name. Usually mappings are given the name with M underscore. That's a standard followed. So I'll give let's say employee underscore new. Now for this mapping, my source is the file which I created yesterday. So this is employees underscore new is my source. And the target is employee underscore new is my target. Okay. Now if you look, what are the columns required in my target? So what I'm going to do is, I'll take those columns into a, okay, let me not, let me do it in a different way, hold on. So what I'll do is, I'll create another transformation. So the, this transformation is called an expression transformation. I'll, later on, I'll tell you the details about the expression transformation, but let me first show you the design, okay? So I created an expression transformation and I want to bring the columns, only those columns which I'll be connecting to my target. So this is one column which is employee ID. Then I am doing a full name. So full name is the concatenation of my first name and my last name. So I need those two columns and then I have salary. So I'll take the net salary, I'll take the salary and also I'll take the commissions. And then I have department name, it's sorry, department ID. So I'll take the department ID from here. Now this is called your, in a mapping, whenever you drag a source, this automatically comes. This is called source qualifier. We'll see in details the source qualifier transformation later on. But at this point, just remember that this transformation comes automatically whenever you bring a source into a mapping. Now, what I'm going to do is my employee ID is a straight connect. Now. I have another column in the target which is called full name. So what I'm going to do is I will create another column which is called full name. And if you see these three columns, this stands for input, this stands for output, and this stands, stands for variable. So right now whatever you see is input output. Now I want to create this full name as output only because Full name is not coming from my source. What is coming from my source? The inputs are first name and last name, and full name is your output. Since first name and last name is your input, I will <coughs> uncheck the output box. Okay. Now for full name, what I'm going to do is I will concatenate those two columns. So first name. Let's. Oh, 
Okay. So what I did is I did a concatenation of my first name and last name in a space in between. So that is my full name. Now for salary, I will create another another column. We uh, not column. This is called port. Okay. I'll create another port which is called my net salary. And <coughs> now for net salary calculation, this port has to be decimal, otherwise it will not work. Let me go ahead and change it. Now since I did the change, I have to change it everywhere. Actually I will make it a decimal. Now the calculation for net salary is let's say uh, my salary plus percentage of my salary. So that means if I my salary is hundred dollars and if I get a ten percent, so my net salary will be hundred dollars plus ten dollars is equal to hundred and ten dollars. Okay, so that's my calculation for net salary. What I'm going to do is. Now my salary is an input port. I don't want it as an output port. My percentage, commission percent is an input port. I don't want it as an output port. But net salary is an output port. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will make this salary plus percentage of salary. So let's make it um let me see the data how the data looks Okay, this is your percent. This is the percent. Now I send the CSV file to everyone. So, anyone else who have not received the file? No. Shuman, I haven't received the file. I haven't received any. Your voice is breaking. Very badly, I cannot hear you. So, if I look here, if I look here, oh, even mm, I said, oh, I didn't send you. Okay. I thought I sent to everyone. Okay, I'll send you the file today. Okay. So now 
so this is the percentages okay of the commission so what i'm going to do is i'll do commission into salary now apply okay now i'll connect these ports to my target Okay, any question until now? Whatever we have done. Anyone can ask any question. Uh, can you show me the logic of uh, um, calculating the percentage again? Ankit, your voice is very, um, breaking very badly. Uh, I cannot understand what you are speaking. Are you using the some internet phone or okay so now what I'm going to so this is called mapping I'll come in details about mapping again one more time when I'll explain now what I'm trying to do is I will try I'm trying to create a workflow out of this mapping so I'll right click and I'll do a generate workflow and then this is fine next finish now to see the workflow I have to go to the workflow manager so this is the place where you click it and then it will open a new window okay now I will go to workflow and see where is my workflow. This is my workflow. Now in the work and in okay, this is the workflow. And this the complete thing is called workflow, and this is called your session. So in the session, I will go and I will tell Informatica now which file to read and what is the exact location. So my file name is employees underscore new right that's my file name so I'll do file source name as employees underscore new dot txt and source directory is this is my source directory Okay. Similarly, I have to tell Informatica where should I create the file. So I will create the file in this directory. My output file directory will be, let's say, ctgt files. Okay, and my output file name would be employees underscore new dot txt. Now, in the output file, I want the headers. That means the column names at the top of the file. So I'll do output field names. Apply. Okay. Yes. Now I'll run this workflow and see what happens. So to run the workflow and see what happens, you have to go to this one, which is workflow monitor. Okay, I connected there. Now I'm doing run start workflow. Okay, now when the workflow when the session is running I can see 107 records read from the source and 107 records loaded into the target so this is your SQ is the source qualifier and this is your target now I want to see my target
this is my target file. Now if you look to my target file, you see you have a certain number of space allocated for a particular column. So I did for full name I allocated I think 40 or 50 characters. So even though it's not used completely, but it will allocate that, that much of space. Similarly, for and department ID, and these are all null, so that's why it's populating in uh, star. So this is called a fixed width file. In fixed, the one you saw, the other one which is the comma separated file, okay? This is your comma separated file. Uh, hold, hold on a question. So this is your comma separated file where each column is separated by a comma and this is your fixed width file where uh, whatever length you allocate for each column it will show you in this format. Yeah, go ahead with your question Ankit. Yeah, can you hear me Shobhan? Yeah, I can hear yeah, you. Why every name is added with a zero as a, you know? No, this every name is added with zero is there because your employee ID is this. So this point zero is a part of your employee not a part of your employee. Okay. So if I want to remove that, best way to do is So the best way to do is you have to convert this decimal to a um, string and then populate. Then you will not see those zeros. Sorry, the other one. You will not see you see all these zeros. Okay. Now let's understand what exactly is mapping and what we have done. Now. Mapping is something, so think of this. It's mapping is nothing but a blueprint of your, your design. So that means, think of this, I am, uh, uh, so, so let's say there is a, a company who does the logistics for Walmart. Now Walmart called that company and told, okay, you have to go to this specific city, let's say you have to go to some city, okay, and then <clears throat> take the take this list of items from the warehouse and distribute the list into to all the stores within that city. So now, when the when the logistics company gets this order, he will have some plan, right? Okay, what he will plan is to do this job. I may need five trucks. Now, though, to avoid the tra traffic, the trucks may be started at 10 p.m. in the night. Will start. <coughs> Excuse me. And then they will pick up all the uh, all the items from the store, maybe at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. And then distribute to different locations, maybe later half of the day. So, um, what I'm trying to tell you is, when the uh, logistics company gets an, such kind of order. He has some plans, right, for execution. He sits and then decides the plan and then once the plan is done, planning is done, then he, he hires or he gives a call to five truck drivers and those truck driver actually executes the complete order. So when the, uh, when the logistic company sits and decides on the plan, this is a mapping is something like that where you are not actually loading the data, reading the data, nothing. So this is something, a blueprint of your design. How you are going to load the data into a target as per the business rule. And this workflow manager, okay, this is the guy who actually brings the items from warehouse and distributes into your local stores. So that's why you are giving 
into this guy, okay, go to, see when, when you have hired five trucks, you have to tell them that where exactly is the warehouse, what are the documents you have to carry, so that you can, you are allowed to take the items from the warehouse, right? So this is what I'm doing is, here I am, I'm telling Informatica, go to this directory and, and this is my file name, read the data from this file and go to this directory and load the data into this directory with this file name. Okay, so this is basically the truck driver who, <coughs> who executes in the plan and but I have to provide him the proper information so that he can execute the plan. And then this is where this the complete execution happens and you can see what is the result, what is like how many rows applied, how many rows affected, how many rows rejected, all those things. And once this is completed, the next important thing you should do is you go to your directory and look for the data file to make sure that the data is loaded completely and correctly. Any questions? So the first thing is I do the mapping, second thing is I I create the workflow or and then third thing is I, pro, I, will, I have to provide the information source and de destination information into the session and fourth thing is I will execute the workflow to load the data. Anyone who have any question for me? Um, yes, Shoban. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Um, I joined a little late because my uh, the link was not, yesterday's link was not working for me somehow. Okay. Um, so I want to know in this whole part, which one is extract, uh, what part is transformation, and what part is load? Okay. So this is your source, right? This is your, this uh, comma separated file is your source. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you look to the mapping, this part is your extract part where you are reading the data in from the source. Now within the mapping what I have done is uh, as per the business rule I have changed something, right? I have did a very very simple thing but did something which is the, my business rule like concatenation of first name, last name, then and add salary and the commission. So these are your mm -hmm. transformations. Okay. Okay. So, and then after that is done, you are generating an output file which you will send you will either send to someone or you will use to load data into a, some table. So this is your loading. So loading does not mean that always it has to be a database. Like when you create a file, that is also a part of loading. Okay. Um, as part of the ETL developer, do they get to load the data to the database? Or no? Somebody yes, you have to load the data into the dev development environment, not in the production. But while okay. doing the development, you you will be provided some kind of uh, data, dev data, dev environment where you have to load the data and do the unit testing. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now, uh, okay, let me tell. So, and this expression is called a transformation. So, in Informatica, there are a lot of transformations, and we will go through most of them. Okay, so expression is one of the transformation, and is very very important transformation. Most of the times we use it. Now, in expression transformation. And when you create a port as an output port, you can write your own logic here. Okay. Now, when I'm saying writing your own logic, you have a lot of functions which you you can actually use. Okay. So you can you can use a lot of functions. So let me do one thing. Let me show you one function, and then I'll give you the assignments and all. 
So let's say I want to populate the uh, um, I want to populate the telephone number as well. No, not 10. Let's make it 15. Okay. And in the source, uh, okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is, I'll bring the telephone number here. No. H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.